I'm uh, Yasuka Nematsu. I'm in charge of international university industry collaboration. You were saying to me that uh, open innovation is mm -hmm. something which is becoming more and more yeah, yeah. critical yeah. for the Japanese economy and yeah. for university yeah. as well as for yeah. companies. Some companies mm -hmm. are talking about it, but they don't do it. Uh, they don't do it. Yeah. Why? Why? So the uh, I think the Japan is a very uh, fruitful country. So they have a market, and uh, maybe uh, in in their mind they want to have the uh, global growth. But uh, uh, in reality, they are shrinking and shrinking in the small world. Yeah. Yeah, because of the global, global competition. Yeah, global competition is a very hard. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so open the uh, uh, new system in Japan is a very important, but a very hard. So they want to make uh, uh, another route yeah. to to buy uh, uh, companies outside Japan. Yeah, that's the problem. Why is it so a challenge for for Japan today to? And for universities like yours uh, mm -hmm. in Osaka, mm -hmm. uh, to embrace okay, think, the yeah. model of open innovation. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I think the uh, university itself has a big potential. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think the research potential is very high, but uh, we cannot contribute to the society. Uh, not enough to contribute to society. I think. Yeah, yeah. So that's a problem. You, you are a professor in the laser physics. Yeah, yeah. Uh, do you have example of uh, open innovation made in collaboration, made internationally uh, yeah. in the laser physics uh, field? Yeah, laser physics field is uh, very important because uh, if you want to have the uh, pioneering equipment, yeah. you have to make a collaboration in worldwide. Yes. Otherwise, you can't get a good equipment. In the laser physics world, there is a, a huge progress. For example, fiber laser system yeah. and uh, ultra-fast laser systems, but uh, still uh, there is a gap between the uh, research field and the uh, industry field. So yeah. maybe we can uh, make a bridge between the industry field and the university field, then uh, yeah. there is a sum. Though uh, in Japan we know that uh, you are the champion for uh, mm -hmm. the investment in R&D, that there is 3-4% uh, of the, the GDP of Japan invested in R&D, <laughs> though it's not enough, that's what no, you no, are no, saying. Yeah, that, uh, the, the, the former model of uh, innovation through investment in R&D, mm -hmm. that's something which is over or at least insufficient. Yeah, yeah, insufficient. Yeah, but uh, the point is, yeah, maybe the controlling the budget toward innovation is important. Yeah. Yeah, R&D budget is uh, increasing and increasing, but uh, how to uh, change uh, flow of the uh, money. Yeah. That is a very important thing. Yeah, because it's, it doesn't convert into innovation uh, yeah, all the yeah. time. You have technologies, but it doesn't mean that you yeah. produce innovation, mm -hmm. which is marketable after, after, mm -hmm. after all. That's yeah. what you are witnessing today. Yeah, so I think the uh, local government effect, local government power is very important yeah. for that. Yeah. yeah, but the network is very important yeah, in order to, the, the, it, in getting more and more important in order to make all these in investment relevant rather than being uh, just uh, put in a hole mm -hmm. even if we have uh, nice technology but which is not uh, to be sold. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's the challenge you have now in Japan. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. We should make a good challenge. <laughs> I think.